Federal officials say they are acting on thousands of consumer complaints related to Southwest Airlines' holiday meltdown. That includes complaints the airline isn't making good on its pledge to issue timely refunds. The Department of Transportation has sent every complaint directly to Southwest, and the agency is giving the airline 60 days to respond. The airline has to honor passenger refund requests within seven days if the traveler paid by credit card and 20 days if they paid by cash or check. That's for flights that were either canceled or significantly delayed. And following all of the chaos around the holidays, could this be the new normal for travel in 2023? God, I hope not. Team 12's Colleen Sakura breaks it down. Looking back at holiday travel. It was pretty crazy to, to watch just the perfect storm. Leslie Voorhees means back home in the valley after spending Christmas in the Bay Area. I guess when you're traveling over the holidays, um, you have to expect that things are going to go wrong. Um, but it was quite the ordeal getting back home. Leslie and her family among the many Southwest passengers who had their flights canceled with no rental cars available. They borrowed a family members to get back. This was like the first blunder that we've really experienced with Southwest, but not enough to turn us away. We're, we're still like loyal customers. Blunder is one word. Blaze Wagyu Spac, a professor with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Daytona Beach. The meltdown of all meltdowns. Uses another. Obviously been doing this a while, uh, but have never seen a, a meltdown like that. He says while Southwest has put money towards technology for customers, it's kept a decades old system in place for their crew. The whole crew scheduling system, which still relied on telephone calls into corporate headquarters, just was not ready and could not handle the event that occurred. And so they just didn't know where planes and people were. Coming back from the height of the pandemic, airlines have had staffing, air traffic control and other issues to combat. But for 2023, should passengers expect what happened at the end of 2022? No. Some of the airlines are still being very cautious about what the amount of flying they're doing. I'm sure every airline is making sure and double checking systems to make sure we don't get caught that way. And repeat, and frequent passengers like Leslie looking at backups too. If this were to happen again, like what would we do differently? Maybe try and go to the rental car center a little bit earlier. I think um, attitude wise, it, it's not gonna change anything. Colleen Sakura, 12 News. Colleen, thanks. The